Welcome to I fix my car myself and part two of the video on the widening of the Dana 60. And now the part that is missing here is nearly two inches. So I have on a lay, I have made a piece that has the exact measurement and you see, I also have some additional metal that goes inside the tube here. Like this. I will hammer it together and, and that will fit perfectly. Uh, what you see here also is a 45 degree up here where the weld will be. And I have also grounded off a 45 degree angle here. And that's where we will have the, the room for the weld. So we will first start with some weld to keep this together and then a bottom weld with the MIG and then I will use a stick welder to do the proper weld on top of the, of, of the MIG weld. If you look here you can see that I have been rather successful in, in the uh, lining here it looks more or less absolutely perfect, but I have a small, small, small difference here. And that will be corrected when I put the first uh, tack weld here. That will be fun. Good. Now we have uh, installed this, the end of the axle. We have our bolt here to keep it in place. We have checked with the label here that we are exactly in line compared this side to the other side. That's important. So that is okay. 
Now we are going to tack weld this part in. We have a slightly, slightly, slightly small angle here. And I will adjust that after the first tack. There we have it. Now I will do the rest of the tech. So let me explain what's going on here. We have tack welded, adjusted, and then I have welded a bottom weld, as I call it, a bottom weld all the way around. And then I ground, grind it out with the angle grinder because I want to prepare the space here for welding with a stick welder. As you can see in the bottom here, we have a weld going all the way through to the bottom and uh, that should be a good base for uh, the next weld. We don't want any holes or, or cracks or damages down there because we want it to last forever. So what we have done now, we have, uh, we are using a, another eight and three quarter and we are going to fit these um, leaf spring attachments uh, and they are fitted to the axle in an angle I, I don't remember the angle exactly if it's six or seven degrees something like that but what I do is I take uh, another axle and use it as a template and if you film here between the axle what you see here, the distance here should be the same, means we have the same angle. We can also watch these. They are at the same inclination. That means that these are in a correct position. And we adjust it by raising up and down this axle and putting it under this rod here. So now we have the, the same inclination. It means they are in the correct angle and I'm going to check well them. Now we are going to weld uh, uh, with a stick welder. And um, usually I'm doing everything uh, myself, but I'm fortunate today and I have a helper here. My son is going to help me and turn the axle while I'm welding. So, okay, let's start. Every time I start a new weld or finish uh, and changing a stick, I use the grinder and grind out some material where I can start the weld again. 
and that way we have a consistent cell all through the diameter of, of all through the uh, circumference of, of of the tube. What you saw in the video is that we have put in a piece here that is approximately two inches so that we have the correct length, the overall length, the length between uh, the, the supports here and uh, it's also the correct uh, length for the axle we sh we can try that let me tell you it's a heavy piece of equipment What I have to do now is just to paint it. I have uh, grinded here and everything seems to be okay. Uh, it's the correct length. It's uh, very straight here. So what's left to do is to paint it. So there we have it, the Dana 60 is ready to be installed, 
in the yellow car the barn find behind you maybe i'll make a video on uh, on the car when it actually is installed and, and so on but for now thank you very much for watching see you next time bye